I forgot I invited oh. the two people in our group who like to talk the most. All right, welcome back, everybody. Martin Gabo's here. Yay! I was How's it clapping, going? I was clapping far away because I figured it'd be really loud. I yeah, could first, hear of all, first of all, uh, Rifo, we need to sing "Happy Birthday to Mort." Ah. We'll do it. In the, we'll do it super fast so we don't lose everyone's attention. Happy birthday! 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 Twitter, Facebook, whatever Mikey posted on in Gabo. But uh, please keep throwing them out. Today we're going to answer three and we'll just keep this kind of stuff going. So the first one comes to us from Elefante, though. That's that's how I'm reading that. Elefante, though. They say, favorite game that nobody else likes more. Why don't you start? You have some games behind you, so. I have, I, <laughs> well, I have two that I'm going to focus on and I'll be brief. So the first one, people like, but they don't talk about a lot, and that's Project Justice, which is uh, a Capcom fighting game. You know it's favorite um, games that, that no one else likes. Right. Well, so I don't know that I have anything that people don't like, but this is just one that people don't really talk about hmm. very much. Okay, I'll normally, take that. I'll take that. Because it's Capcom, so normally people go to Street Fighter or, you know, their other very popular franchises. Yeah, like, uh, Gabo, I know that's your favorite franchise. What I love about this though is it's the same controls as those games, but it's really, really goofy. And that's so, it's, for me, it's one of it, my It is super my goofy. I remember playing with you at your is, house. Is that, like, is that 3D game? I never played before. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, well, it's 2D, but- uh, It's with polygonal. 3D, yeah, 3D with polygons and everything. So yeah, there's a 3D cool. rotation you yeah, can- Yeah, like, like those uh, Street Fighter games of the PS2, like the EX. Kind of like yeah. Virtua Fighter maybe a little bit? And... No, I mean, maybe a little bit. But the, the I tried to sound gimmick, smart. Well, the gimmick of Project Justice is that you're different schools that are like, you know, in this like turf war, but That's... like the special moves are based on what your sport is at the school or the character you are at the school. Oh, that's right. Like the baseball player is a guy and all that. Right. Yeah. Or yeah. my favorite is the synchronized swimmer. You get your team of three to do a synchronized swim together and then use that. that as an attack. So that's a brief that. one. I need uh, to check that game out. Wait, we'll go to Gabo, then go to me, then it. you finish off with your, your second yeah, yeah. one. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Gabo. No, you know, I'm just trying to keep <laughs> in, like law and order here. No, you know what? I will, I I will say two games too. Oh, first, here we go. Oh, well, first, <laughs> I'd... first, Bionic Commando on the 360 and yeah. PS3. Yeah, yeah. I choice. think I already, I think I already talked about that yeah. game. I really love it. And everybody hates it. I don't know why. Yeah. And the other one is uh, War Gods. War Gods? Oh, and the yeah. 64? <laughs> 64? 64? A, it's a fighter game. One. It's a fighting it's a game. Fighting game. Yeah, yeah nice. it's, it's like a crazy Mortal Kombat clone, something like that. Yeah. But I think it's the same people that... Uh, you know what, they, Gabo? I think I played that, and I think that game totally sucks. But that's the point. Uh, that's yeah. the point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, 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 an arcade, it's an arcade game originally, and then it got ported to PS1 and yeah. Xbox. Or, yeah. But when that game came out, it was like one of the first games to release after the launch of the N64. Exactly. And it was just trashed. Is, in it, is it Midway? Yes. It's Midway. Okay, yeah. It's Midway. Yeah. 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 Look but at, it got fatalities and everything. Yeah. Uh, it's got fatalities, Mort. Yeah. It does. <laughs> uh, you I know would what is for, a fatality? Yes, I do. Finish him. Uh, for me, I'm going to say an NES game called Double Dare. I've talked to a lot of people about it, and a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> Most NES games that play off like like hosting type of shows or playing like any type of Nickelodeon or something, people don't seem to go well on an NES. But I think Double Dare is really fun. I love the little trivia is not the part that gets me. It's the little fun mini games. I like throwing the bananas in the gorilla's mouth. There's even a game on it called Pie in Your Pants where they throw pies in your pants and you catch them in your pants. So that's <laughs> also I, what Gabo does in his free time. I, no, no, I know you love that. Yes, okay. More ear up. <laughs> My other one is um, Mario uh, Super Sluggers on the Wii. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I was taken off by you having it right there with you. <laughs> Bam! No, I, I grabbed a couple of props for today. Nice. Okay. I like no, it. but uh, Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii is my favorite pick up and play game. And people reviews. I don't think people hate it, but they're just like, eh, it's whatever game. I've heard the same I, thing from a lot of people. They're always like, yeah, it's not one of the better Mario sports games, but I, I like it too, actually. So I'm with my you. My brother and I, like once you beat the campaign and unlock all the characters, which is not hard to do, 
uh, we will play this game for hours. And it's it's our go-to for, like, just one more game. Like, just one more game. And you can Got adjust it. it for, like, yeah. three innings, six innings, nine innings. So it's, uh, it's one of my favorite games ever made. I love video Seriously. games like that where it's, like, one more round, one more round, one more oh, round, you know? It's a potato chip game. Yeah, that's how uh, Call of Duty was for me, like in the after high yeah. school days. Like, oh, just just one more. I can't like even when we play Paladins online, Gabba, we're like, oh, we can't get off yet. We got we lost this round. Oh, next time, yeah. next time, and then next time turns into three a.m. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right, next question I got. This one is no, from, no, no. Gabba has one more. He said them both. He went. I already both. said. Oh. <laughs> I, I got I got more, but we can do it. I got day. more. I got more. Uh, I got more. The the G <laughs> the G kangaroo says, what is your like favorite, well, he's put favorite movies and slash pop culture characters. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll start. Um, I'll yeah. go favorite movie of all time for me. Uh, by far, it's kind of been there for a long time is Jurassic Park, the original. Uh, um, I've said it before, the animatronics mixed with the CGI still to this day when you watch people who are like into cinema and animatronics and all that type of stuff. I don't know if exactly what you call it, but when they look back on it, they're like, this still holds up very 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 extremely well for the time that it was made uh so i'll start there with movie go for movie favorite movie of all when, time when is yes. the last time you watched that movie not too long ago actually probably about three weeks ago because i was watching like a fx artist reacts to it yeah. and they were talking about it and then i went and watched it again so i had a group of people over to do a movie night and we watched that and it it was just amazing like was it on the projector uh no not on the projector oh, okay. on, on in the garage you can set it up for like like state, like we put a couch behind the couch it's and so set good. it up. It's it, so good. I love it. I love everything about it, bro. It's it's like the most perfect. That movie and Indiana Jones are the perfectly most yeah. perfectly paced movies. The first Indiana Jones. I'm 100 Pop, popcorn you. included. Popcorn included, always, man. Yeah, you gotta have popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, Gabo, why don't you go, Gabo? Uh, well, favorite movie. Of I don't time. know if. I, well, wait. wait. I got two. Oh, oh every, every question. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know if I ever told you that I love Star Wars. Oh, yes. But, yes. but, but, one of, well, I can say my favorite movie ever is Kill Bill. Really? Kill Bill. So Kill Bill. Bill. Kill Bill, no, one. Well, here, one. Star Wars, Kill Bill. Which one no, is no. up more? Oh, Kill Bill. Because, oh, Star wait, wait, Star Wars is an entire franchise. Yeah, okay. So you're not just counting yeah. like one so, specific Star Wars. Yeah, movie that I love from the beginning to the end. Let's be real. You know, almost all the Star Wars movies has a slowdown, right? But Kill Bill, the entire movie is awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. a good so, movie. Uma so, the other, so the other movie is Goodfellas. That's, man, oh, that's three movies. Great yeah. choice, man. No, that's yeah. that's two movies. Kill Bill and Goodfellas. So Kill Bill, Star Wars. No, no, no. Star Wars, my... Goodfe Goodfellas is great. Goodfellas is great. Oh, that's that's amazing. Movie. That's an amazing you, movie. What do you like about Goodfellas? I'm curious. I used, I, I used uh, to be a film critic. And, and I used to so I write, write a bunch. And I, I could talk about this all well, day. Well, Joe Pesci. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Prime He's Joe dummy. Pesci. Dummy is the best, man. I love well everything in the movie, all the characters, the accent, how they talk is so real, man. Yeah. Did you know I that he, he he had actual mobsters uh, supposedly show up while they were shooting on set and give him some real time correction of no, that's not how we would have done it. I oh, heard they true. actually let him kill some people. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, no, <laughs> okay, kill Bill. <laughs> Ah, I see. All right, more. what about you? Favorite movie of all time? Okay, I brought another prop for this one. Oh, I like it. Okay, uh -oh. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to say two because you said two. I was originally going to say one. First, um, my uh, alias name here, Mort Guffman, is from the movie Waiting for Waiting Guffman. Waiting for Guffman. And so that's going to tie into the second part of this question in terms of pop culture characters. That movie is hilarious. I've yeah. probably seen it 40 times. And that's Gabo, not have you ever seen that, Gabo? Waiting for Guffman? Yeah. Waiting for Guffman. That's his, Guffman. you know, his his alternative name here, Mort Guffman. That's no. kind of where it comes from. It's, I think so I've never. It's a mockumentary made before The Office and all those movies by the people who made Best in Show and uh, Spinal Tap. And they're a Ooh. small town group of people who think they're making the greatest play in the world. And it's just awful. But that's the joke. And it's like it's like our show. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. But my, it's, like, my well, it's, it's like watching Reefle. Yes, yeah. I, I, absolutely. So Martin Scorsese is my favorite director. Oh, ever. man, he's the best. 
I was going to ask you how, how you how you call in every uh, Martin Scorsese movie yeah. when you can hear the guy talks is that monologue narrator uh, nar narration Nar narration yeah, yeah monologue oh, I talking by themselves yeah and sometimes they're breaking the third wall where they're like talking to the audience uh, yeah. or you're just in their head but it's in that movie he's he's kind of narrating the story yeah. as it's yeah narration you, is go ahead do you watch the Irishman no I haven't watched it yet oh. because when it came so out good. work got super busy and so I want to try and watch it with as little interruption as possible well now is the perfect time I heard some yeah. good stuff about the CGI on there so yeah hey. that's cool yes Can I add one topic after this one? It depends on how long we go. Let's see. No, no, All right. No, the it, next, it, go the ahead. Ne the okay. next one for now. No, no, oh, no, no, but no, no, yes. no. oh. So my favorite oh, movie oh. of all time. I, for, I forgot oh. I invited the two people in our group who like to talk the most. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll keep it quick. What so, a uh, I met my wife right around the time I saw the movie Punch Drunk Love. And that movie, I know when, Pete, when that came out, everyone thought it was going to be an Adam Sandler movie. But it's not an Adam Sandler movie. It's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie. It's surreal. It's bizarre. It's like weirdly funny, but then really violent and dark. I've never and seen so, it. Oh, I've never it's, seen it. People love it or they hate it. There's literally it. nobody that's in the middle. And people that hate it think the people that love it are crazy. And so um, a friend of mine gave me this uh, artwork from the, it's a, like a fan art thing from the movie. Which, uh, I love I, how much love. props more has. Hey, you know, keep it visually interesting, man. Yeah, you know, uh, like but, woo, but anyway. Um, Gabo looks so confused right, the, right weird, now, by the way. Weird, weird movie. It doesn't What's make going any on? sense, but it makes, all, but it makes, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but it makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, 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 I no, love I that movie. Oh my God. Mort has everything, man. He hey. Really, look, look, <laughs> look behind him. He does. I'm you, in my... said, you said favorite movie and we're a group of collectors. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait until the topic that I have. I hope we have time. Okay. We'll see. Go ahead. Next we'll one. See. No, well, this is part of it. This is favorite pop culture characters. Um, oh, for me, I'll say my favorite pop culture characters. Uh, I'm going to go with kind of a broad spectrum of every 90s overly buff action star. And I'm talking <laughs> about the Stallones. I'm talking about the Schwarzeneggers. I'm Great. talking about the Van Dams. I'm talking, I liked it when it was overly overly stupidly everybody had hit packets on their body for when blood would explode and it was just <laughs> limbs flying everywhere like even the the recent rambos where stallone just oh, went to, so uh, went onto that minigun and just yeah, da, 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 and everybody just like pieces oh, that's so awesome and man. the best is they always walked away with like zero care they're just like they die We need, we need more we need more movies like that yeah yeah right, what about you guys oh, yeah uh what what about you guys mort go ahead uh two two people one is uh from the movie waiting for guffman i think that a lot of the individual characters on that are funny corky st Clair, who's played by christopher guest is hilarious um among many of them uh there's so many quotable lines the other one to, for me is uh buster bluth from the show arrested development um Never the way that he's it. written and acted watch the first two seasons especially and season then hop three out. dips and then it just crashes i think after uh, that but i've heard uh, a lot of good things about that show though for sure oh the writing is hilarious get past the first two episodes and then you'll know if you like it or not but it. buster bluth is so funny and he's so well written and so well played a he's iconic to me like you oh you're oh, iconic you're iconic yeah. you guys uh, No. Nah. Well, probably me, not Rifo. <laughs> <laughs> Rifo. What's yours, uh, Gabo? Well, uh, it's easy. You guys already know. I got two. I well, don't know. The, the first one, Darth Vader, of oh, course. Yeah. And Chewbacca? Of course. Great choice. Uh, no. But the second one is more like this time around. You know who it is. My man, Negan. Oh, oh that's oh, right. Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. So yeah, Negan, you know, and it's funny, I, I dropped out of Walking Dead before supposedly, spoiler, if you don't watch Walking Dead, supposedly when Negan turns likable. I left Walking Dead when I literally hated the guy. But you said, oh, going forward, he's a nice guy and you'll like him. Oh, dude, uh, you will love it right now. You will love it. He's I don't know if man. I want to watch Walking Dead right now. Dude, it might be too, uh, <laughs> a little too. Uh, uh, it's okay. Probably can prepare you. <laughs> I hope it's not going there. 
Let's yeah. Just, let's just what about that. you? I already said mine was oh, every okay. every '90s action character. But yeah. Oh well, yeah. and if I if I had to pick one more, it'd be, probably be Homer Simpson. So. Oh, great choice. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. The last you guys little, picked really good ones. These are last great. question. You're, you you yeah. more more gives like deep answers. <laughs> Sorry. Me and Gabo are like, uh, here's something stupid. Well, well more is the more intelligent in the group. Yes. Oh, yeah. being, Shut being, your mouth. Being and complex. Oh, yeah, for sure. Him and Complex yeah. are the intelligent The ones. rest are the stupid ones. Yeah, we're the dumb ones. For <laughs> oh, sure. Come on. Stop, stop. <laughs> Beginning with me and finishing with uh, Mikey? No, no, no. Let's be Ricky? nice. <laughs> Ricky? Ricky's... Okay, we're going to move on. All right. Uh, the ne- oh, the next guy. I didn't even realize his name. His name is This Is The Way, which is from The Mandalorian. Uh, he says, what was your favorite plot twist in a video game? Mm. Who wants to go first? More... T- Mort. All right. Uh, I don't Wait. have a prop on this I, one. So I have two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have 17. Oh, so. <laughs> Ooh, I got five. No, I'll just focus. It's hard to tell a good story on a video game because the pacing is so different than yeah. a movie. Um, so you have to think of it almost like you're crafting a mini series and yes. how you're going to keep the player's attention. But I think that one of the best sort of narratives of any game ever is Bioshock. And oh, yeah. the twist oh, yes. in that, it just hit at the right point. It made twist. you- Twist, you can talk about it, it's fine. Yeah, well, if, if you're fatigued at all while playing through the game at that point, it re, I think it re-energizes you to figure out what's gonna happen all the way to the end. I don't wanna spoil it, because some people still haven't played it and there's a great remaster of it on PS4 and Xbox One. But the- uh, but So you're just game, talking original Bioshock? Original Bioshock. Bioshock number one, yeah. I think the two games after that, I don't like, at, I, don't, I don't like the third one very much, but I love the gameplay of the second one and the story of the first one. Got it. Okay. That's my I, will, I will say uh, Fear. You, re, you guys remember was the Was that game PS3, game? Dave? It was. Yeah. PS3, Xbox 360? Yeah. 360 okay. and you got three games. That game is great. It, it's oh been a God. while. I can't remember. What was the, tw- the twist in that? It's I can't been remember. a while. That's a good song. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what twist? <laughs> what was the tw- plot twist? After the second game, uh, you realize, well, I don't want to spoil but you, you gotta real, say it. well you realize you are the son of the billion uh, you remember that more yeah i'm i'm a, i'm at about three quarters of the way through the third game right now so you just I, ruined it for him no 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 it's good <laughs> because that story that's a great example like i i'm having a hard time understanding the story of that game i don't get who all the characters are but the gameplay is so tense and scary yeah. that it's i scary. just it's so much adrenaline when you play that game it's it's really interesting. And I got another one. I'm sorry. No, go for it. Please do. And Lord of Shadows. Oh, my Lord God. Lord of Shadows. That is. Castlevania. Is that, is that? Oh, that's the Sega Master the, version? No, no, no. no. 360. Oh, Castlevania, oh, 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 Lord of Shadows. I know, which, I know what you're talking about. Sorry. So, in the first game, you play as Gabriel, and he goes to hell to kill. Uh, it, was, it was not Dracula, right? No. To kill Satan. How, something how, like that how, how deep <laughs> and he end up in the second one at, after the end of the first one you gabriel become dracula so oh see i don't sec- think i played that one dude in the second game you play as dracula gabriel but dracula wow so it's an amazing story man i love it uh, for me those are the best cast bunny games really not simply yeah, look, night nah look at Mortface. No, I'm or thinking something. of he, Symphony he's of like, Night has the he's great like, like, gameplay twist. Like, Mort looked like you did when he was explaining what Waiting for Guffman was. <laughs> yeah. My bad, like, Mort. Like, <laughs> no, probably this is I, great. I'll graze probably, I, probably I spoiled the game. No, I, I, I'm, only, I'm only about an hour or so into that game. I, oh, uh, no, no. My bad, no. bro. It's okay. That's fine. Dude, that's oh, a big that's twist. Right. At it the is, end of it, the game. You, you, it's you, amazing. You, you need when you edit this video with no editing. Minus of edits, you just need no to put a spoiler here. At this yeah, session. there will be no editing ever in these, just so everyone is aware. Womp womp. Um, for me, I, 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 I mean, I've had a ton, you know, in like recent days, you know, newer gen games. But I try to think of the one that always sticks to me the most when it comes to like, I don't know, when I was a kid, like nostalgic, when my kind of my brain blew up. Uh, 
the stupidest one, which won't be my answer, was the ending of Mario 2. For me, it was a big deal because that's my favorite game of all yeah. time when you realize Mario was sleeping. That's like before that became a popular thing to do. Um, but I think the biggest for me as a kid where I genuinely like stopped what I was doing and like looked at my brother and I was like, no way. And it wasn't even necessarily a plot test. It's just in Super Mario RPG when Bowser joined your team. <laughs> because it was one of those things where as a kid, you know, it was almost like being a kid and thinking Mario and Sonic are something together. They're like, yeah. they're not together. There's no way. And Bowser and Mario were like, well, they're, they're enemies. That is, I yeah. played Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, Super Mario World at that point. You know, be, Bowser is the enemy. You right. know, and then as soon as it's like Bowser has, Bowser has joined your team, I remember genuinely, genuinely looking at my brother and like stopping the game. Like, there's no way. There's no way. Bow you know, I'm a kid, you know, at this point. Over yeah. prop probably overreacting over making it dramatic but it was just one of those things to me where i remember it as one of the biggest moments for me with a plot twist in games you, you know what is funny and huh. kind of excited for me is huh. i remember all those nes and even super nes games back in the days yeah. uh i didn't understand that well english back then yeah. and i just play the games and i finish it but in the majority of the game i didn't understand what's going on oh got it Especially, you know, in games like Willow. You remember Willow? Yeah. yeah. Cap Capcom Willow. So that's yeah. a good question for you, Gabo. With someone who it was learning, you know, in that transition of learning English, did it like stray you away from playing like RPG type games or games that were really story based because you couldn't understand what was actually being said? I don't know how I did it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I was a kid and yeah. back then it was more like... Press start through play. it anyway. Yeah. It's like the perfect sample is uh, Zelda 2 yeah. and Willow. Yeah. Because Willow is a very complex game. I don't NES know if you guys remember. Yeah. Did, did, did you guys as kids actually read all the text in video games? Or were you guys like me just like frantically like praying like please hurry up and get to the gameplay? I'm still that way. <laughs> okay. Really? Like, Not me. I, I started playing Paper Mario on the GameCube. Last, last night. night. And the first, and uh, the reviews I've read have said the beginning's a slog, but man, is it trying my patience because it's just constant yeah. text and constant tutorial. And it's like, oh, yeah. hurry up. Like, I know this game's great, but right now this is, this is yeah. making me crazy. You know, I, I do that in the open world games. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you have to repeat a, a lot of missions yep. and you already know what they're going to say, I begin like yeah. hitting buttons like, ah, okay, let's oh. play. I'll be honest with you guys. I've skipped some very important video games to a lot of gamers strictly because I couldn't get past the initial like hour of reading and listening and watching yeah. and even big games that to this day, people praise as some of the best games of all time. I'll be Maybe. honest right out. I'll be honest. I have never been able to get into metal gear. I tried two never. of them. I tried the first one and I tried one like two years ago on the PS4. I don't remember what it was. And both times I got about 30 minutes in and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. I'm so yeah. tired of reading. Yeah. The, uh, when you say first one, are you saying NES or are you saying PlayStation? PlayStation. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not the NES or Snake's Revenge. But yeah, the first uh, cinematic version you know, of. It is. If you're going to sit through it, it is worth revisiting on the GameCube, the Twin Snakes uh, yeah. kind of I, he I, one. I hear that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's. I mean, it's not much different from the PS1, but... I don't think at, Koji at that point, Kojima was so bloated in his storytelling to where you have like, you know, very, very 30 minute plus long cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. They were much more brief and much more tolerable, but they're also, you know, pretty like, you know, reminiscent of the Matrix and movies from that yeah. era too. You I, know? Think, uh, I think a good video for one of our next videos should be uh, just us confessing all the stuff this whole time that we've never wanted to tell people about games that like we <laughs> don't like or we hate or we think that are garbage whose xbox is that somebody's xbox is going off right now has Not to be mine. mr xbox <laughs> yeah, um uh, probably more to agree with me i think the best game you can the best metal year game you can begin with is uh number four on ps3 that's a great game that's a great game you yeah. got a lot of cinematic yeah, but but the action is the best, man. I don't mind yeah. cinematic. I can't do the reading. If I'm just watching, I'm okay. No, well, this, this one is cinematic. So okay, yeah, okay. You're gonna like it. The reading kills Wait. me. The reading kills yeah. me. 
The only time I ever got excited about uh, anything with Metal Gear is when they announced on the Wii U and like the little thing came in and it was Solid Snake joining Smash Bros. I was like, yeah. And it's funny, I was so excited, even though I genuinely didn't even care about Metal Gear. I was just like, we got it. You know? I think I think it's kind of the what you're saying about Bowser joining your party. You know, things that are so opposite now coming under the same thing. But but it's crazy that game because is- Smash Brothers has taken away any doubt i've ever i've always had like well there's no way this could become this smash bros has taken away any doubt i've ever had because they're crossing over with everything yeah everything has been crossed over that game is a great fighting game in its own right but it's just a giant celebration of video game what gabo you need to say something we need negan you know (laughs) (laughs) it would be awesome negan's in something Uh oh Uh oh I think Uh-oh. it's telling me I, I have to stop because we don't have the pro version of this. It's saying your 40 minutes is about to run out. I just got a message. <laughs> so, oh, I'm right. going to be cutting this into two videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not cutting anything. I'm stopping this right now. All right. Hey, thank you guys uh, for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for you watching. For every, thank you. And Great to see you, Gabo. Nice to see you, Mort. <laughs> and nice to see you, everybody at home. And nice to see you, Reefo. Goodbye, yeah, guys. Have be a great safe. Day.